I have a question for you. What, baby? Who ultimately is running this relationship? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? I don't know. I just think I am. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at. It doesn't matter what I'm getting at. You really believe that, don't you? Yep. I do, too. Do you believe that you're running it? No, I believe you are. <laughs> <laughs> Entertaining, inspiring, thought-provoking. The Amazing Living Show. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. And now, your hosts, Don and Lucky. If they didn't, they what can go, great example. go to amazingliving.net. What the hell? <laughs> the big black cat just... Tore some shit up. <laughs> My God. Where were we? Yeah, but you didn't start with you. You started with what you thought was necessary well i decided for a woman. i decided to pick on the women first but i told you let's do that okay let's I'll do pick that. on the women first shall we yeah and then i'll pick on the i'll fairly pick on the men second i know you will because i, I don't think anybody's blameless in this why because do i, do this? I said because so. i said so that's right. a really bad reason that's mm-hmm. my that was my first i grew up that way i did too and it is also the reason why i have such a disdain for authority because <laughs> <laughs> i said so is not a good reason for me right and what we saw growing up was captains who made the decision that was in his own best interest in spite of everybody, the king of the castle. And he right. was going to lay down the law, and that's the way it was, even if it victimized everybody in the castle. It's my way or the highway. And eventually, he ended up the king of a castle that was empty. Yes. And so you grow up seeing that, and you go, uh, that's not what I want. I don't want an empty castle. No. Compromise is usually done out of fear. Mm-hmm. It's... I have to go along with this or it's going to be a fight. Like, or I, I have to go along with this or I'll end up on the streets. Yeah. Or I have to go along with this. Or there's or... going to be price to pay. Right. Oh, there'll be hell to pay. If I don't do this, she's going to, oh, I'll never hear the end of it. Right. Compromise is if the words in any shape or form resemble if it'll shut you the hell up. That is the time to start having these hard conversations because it circumvents all of the things that will cloud your judgment mm-hmm. is how you said it. Right. The things that cloud your judgment are the sexual contact and the physical contact. Mm-hmm. So if you have these conversations before you get sexually involved, you're going to have a lot more clear head than if you get involved first and then you have these things in because then what happens is you go, you know, I really don't like this person that much, but... But now I'm invested. The sex is pretty good. And yeah. sex will make good sex will make you put up with a lot of crap. I'm trying to think of what it was that got you wound up, but I said you think your strength is in your balls. Mm-hmm. That was in a very early conversation. And I said, What you have not learned yet yeah. is that your real strength is in your femininity. It's in my femininity and my willingness to be vulnerable. And soft. Have you learned that that is actually true? Oh, I fucking use it all the time now. (laughs) When I'm soft and I am doing what, for me, what I believe that I'm designed to do and who I am, truly am at my core and I own it, the world reflects that to me. Right. And for a dozen times before that, before the wreck, I don't know how many times I was asked, here, can I do that for you? And my answer was, no, no, I got it. Right. I got it. I'll do it. And the world reflected that to me. Right. I believe actually the world has become more accommodating to me as I got softer instead of the world fought me as long as I was bowed up. Right. Swinging my own balls. And when I stopped doing that, the world accommodated me. You know, if I wasn't called a bitch once a day, I wasn't doing my job. That's the way I looked at it. And I think that what a lot of men do is a lot of men pick emotionally weak women 
because it's easy to be a hero when you don't have to elevate your game that much. When you're playing to a weak, a small crowd. Now, how would you know that? Because I've been on both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. There is a responsibility that men have to educate themselves to be wise to educate themselves so that they can make intelligent decisions for their family. I ultimately believe that the feminine woman controls every relationship. Totally. The, the feminine woman has controlled the all the wars. The vagina rules the world. It does. And the sooner that we all get that through our thick skulls, the better <laughs> it will be. A wealthy man can sh control weak women. A weak woman. But he you know cannot what? control a strong no, one. But hold on. I'm here to say that. But a gorgeous woman can only control weak men as well. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. If you've enjoyed listening to this sample of Amazing Living with Don and Lucky and would like to hear more, go to AmazingLiving.net and become a member where you'll get every fun-filled and life-changing episode in their entirety. That's AmazingLiving.net.